TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. What's this? Let's look at the tarot cards. Pity these can't solve murders. I'm gonna look around, then I'm gonna go talk to Well, Ujo. that's appropriate. Um... Antacids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. The moon. Usually this is about deception or confusion. But for me, well, who knows? I hope you can find what you're looking for. Right, okay, let's... I'll talk to him after this. Whatever I'm looking at, I can't remember. Snow's perfume. Okay. <laughs> Need to go over here. Okay, let's talk. Oh, that's enough. Hey, Amira, vanish! Cancel! No. What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. What were you doing with the mirror, Toad? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. I was just having a laugh. We've been waiting here a long time. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Still one derpy looking kid. It's okay. Are you okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. Come on. Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady... fell in. But... but she didn't have her head on! I thought... I thought she was going to pull me down, too. Because <laughs> cause she had rocks on her feet, and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. Yeah. Part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? Oh, shit. I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. Leave him alone, Toad. He's my son. I've set boundaries for a reason. This is a special circumstance. Leave him alone. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. 
Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. They said... They said... Stop laughing at me. <laughs> Did you see who it was? No. <laughs> Did you hear anything else? No. Bigby, he's frightened. Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank tried. you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> Call us if you remember anything else. Come on, then. Still definitely one dirty-looking kid. I mean, there was a toad and everything. That went still. about as well as I expected. <sighs> what? You Why want to go look at the body now? Yeah. Come on. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Let's go see the body. I didn't realize... Are you gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just... a little... strange. The glamour is so effective, it's... invasive. But... just do what you need to do. Let's look at the head. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there. Like before. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Well, if I want to leave it open. Thanks. Let's look at the neck. It looks just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Um, let's look at the brooch. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, look at hand first. It's closed. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. W what are you doing? Only way to find out. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. 
If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Bit of a shoddy glamour, Why then. would it change everything else? It might be a cheap one, just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Huh. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... Hmm. What? Snow, I need to open her coat. Bigby, just let me. Are you still okay? I... Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? Her glamour is defective. Oh. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. Hmm. Ooh. A bit of sexy lingerie. Are you wearing silk lingerie, Snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. The perfume. What is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this, Nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. Interesting. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. You worry too much, Crane. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? The top? Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Um, right, um... Yay, puzzles. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Is that a bit slow as hair? Is that... It's your hair. Where'd you get that? It looks like a picture of snow. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Oh yeah, I read uh, the... Who did this, Bigby? Character profile thing. Apparently Rose is the sister. And... Prince Charming left. 
She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Nice. Is that Pinky's sister? Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? Who is missing? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh no. What is it? It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows, she might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. That was a bit quick to answer. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's Couldn't too dangerous. Something. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not going to stop her. Crane's getting a bit defensive all of a sudden. Now. You ready? Yeah. Hmm. I don't trust you. You're an asshole. I don't trust assholes. Yeah. <sighs> well, so Holly's sister is dead and was gone to let us know. Who is that? This whole thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. I <laughs> made stuff. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's Jack. been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. You sure it wasn't Tweedledum? Well, no, but he seemed pretty sure. Crane. Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Him. Big B, okay. come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... Jack, find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? Dude, Jack, what happened? Up. I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Shit. So she just found out her sister's dead. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. Yeah, Jack, you asshole. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess, Snow fucking White, is all safe and sound. 
Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... Shit. All right, everyone. Clear out. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. It's quite lovely. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? I have no what to say. It's just like... Yeah. It's hands. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just... I didn't want to watch it with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. So she was a prostitute? It ate me up to like see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Anything else you can tell us? I don't think so. Like I said, we didn't talk much. That's all right. You've been more than helpful. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? Let's clean up the body. Pet club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. So I've got to go find Georgie at the Pudding and Pie. Ask him what the fuck's going Oh shit, the wall. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did they fix the fan? And the pool table? And the pool cue? Achievement unlocked. Sisters.